Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and this is Lady Gagu, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we have an Ewok-inspired doll from the same artist who created this little beauty right here. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Last March, I did a series of videos that kind of honored female creators and artists in the Baby Yoda community. And one of those artists was Bright Eyes by Kitty G, who created this beautiful, beautiful Grogu doll for me. I named her Lady Gagu. That's the name she's been going by since we got her. And she just, her details are totally, totally amazing. If you missed the review on her, definitely check it out right there. But I have her here today because I have another creation from this artist. This time it's not a Grogu creation, it's an Ewok inspired creation. So Fisher and Lady, I'm going to set you to the side for a little bit so that I can review this little Ewok. Oh, he's so adorable, guys. Wait till you see him. Are, are you guys good with that? Where can we get? All right, little dude and dudette, boop, boop. We will see you in a little bit. So besides the art Grogu dolls that Kitty G does, she also does things called bulwarks. And I'm actually just going to read what they are right off of here because I don't want to mess it up. But bulwarks are dream catchers. They are keepers of bad dreams and sour thoughts and painful memories, but also visionaries for seeking positivity, motivators for healing and growth, and givers of hope and love. And then the description of them goes on to say that once one chooses you, you, or you choose it or you become family then it will keep your deepest darkest secrets so when I was on Etsy the other day I was like you know what let me go check out and see what bright eyes by kitty G has going on and she had the cutest Ewok inspired doll on there you guys ready how stinking cute is this guys Look at his face! Look at his teefies! <laughs> He's really, really super cool. His name is Cricket. He came with that name and I'm keeping it because Cricket the Ewok, he is a Wicket the Ewok inspired little bulwark. And he's so soft, guys. I love him. Looking at his details a little bit more up close, his face again. His hood is made out of like, just like a sheet cotton type material but the little closures on it, super cool. I love the hands. There's little stones on his paws that are like his little bear claws. <laughs> super, super cute and adorable. He also has a necklace on and it's a whistle. It's a whistle necklace that was made. Does it work? <whistles> it does. It is a whistle necklace that works. And this seems to be made out of like a little clay material. It's got the little drawing on there and then it's just brown on the back. And you can see it's got a zipper, guys. It's got like a little feather looking piece of stone on it, some beads. And then when you open the zipper, inside him, he comes with a journal. So you can write down whatever you want to in that journal. You know, if you've got some thoughts that you want to share or some bad energy that you want to get rid of, write it down on here and he will keep it safe inside him. And it even comes with a little teeny tiny pen so that you always have a pen and paper to write little messages on. There's also this in here and I forgot to ask her what this is because this looks like snake skin. I, this may be actual snake skin because it has like a snake eye on the front. This is probably some good luck, I hope. Good luck, and I, I will actually definitely ask her what this is, just to clarify that, and I'll let you know in the comments of the video. But inside, he's just got some red fabric, and it goes pretty deep. You could carry a couple other little things in there. But his journal fits in there, so he always holds your secrets, and then just zips right back up. So super cute. She makes these out of upcycled plush dolls 
and then, you know, kind of redoes the face and makes them into their own characters. I don't see any more Ewoks on her site right now, but she has a couple other really cool looking things if you want to check them out. And hopefully, you know, let her know if you're interested in Ewoks. Tell her you want to see more Ewoks. She has some Grogu's up on her site right now too, though, and they are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. He comes with his own little, like, wicket walking stick. How super cool is this? This is an actual stick from a tree. It's really, really, it's like twisted, beautiful, and it just goes with him. You, you just couldn't think of anything better to go as an accessory with this little guy. The embellishments on her dolls are done with different things. Glass beads, feathers, faux fur, acrylic paint, hot glue. And I will say, unfortunately, when he got here, the shipping was a little rough on him and one of his eyes had popped out. So I did have to glue one of little Cricket's eyes back in. But that's okay, little dude. You're here now. Your eyes all dry. Your little nose is adorable <laughs> and you're just he's so much bigger than i thought he was gonna be guys he's just he's totally totally rad i love it yep definitely he's a beyond totally rad and this stick i'm gonna have to keep this away from chip i'm pretty sure cricket you got to make sure chip doesn't get a hold of that okay little dude Cost on her bulwark items are about $75 to $85. Some of them are a little bit less. She did send me something else in the package, but I'm saving that because I want to show it to you on another video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Like I mentioned, she has some of the Grogu's on her site, and they usually run about $165 on up. And I do think she used to, I hope she still does, she used to do custom orders. So if there's something really cool that you want her to do for you, she doesn't take like precise custom orders if I remember correctly, but she will kind of make you a Grogu or a doll based on your personality and likes. So if you want to talk to her about that, I will put her Etsy information in the description of the video for you so you can check it out. But Cricket and I are going to go meet the rest of the family and kind of hang out. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep seeing totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right Cricket? We'll see ya later. Yep, yep. Bye, guys. Chip, give Cricket back his stick.